Hello guys, it's me again, Danny Barzar is here with Age Construction. Uh, as you can see here, it's August 25th. We just uh, finished pouring out 12 panels today. Everything went really well. We started at 3, 3 a.m. this morning. So, uh, as you can see behind me here, we've got the finishers working on the panels. Get the finish on it. Uh, so, it's gonna be pretty warm today, so this should be cold. This should uh, go pretty quick. We're gonna start talking a little bit about the entire project from when we started. Uh, kind of the process of what goes into building a, a tilt-up building like the one we're doing here. Uh, basically, when we first come out here, the surveyors have already been out here to give us starting points, hubs, benchmarks, whatever the way uh, you want to call them. So once you get that, that establishes uh, more often than not, they'll, they'll give you outside corners of the building. So once we have that, what we do is we, before that we'd like to do a layout before the excavators come out. That way they know exactly where to dig, where we want them to dig. So, uh, and also working together with the excavation company, you can establish uh, your starting elevation, which in most cases is your finished floor. It's really important for everybody to be on the same page as far as elevation wise because everything's built off of that so you know we establish finished floor establish elevation and then we start spray painting exactly where we want them to dig how wide how deep and then uh, when then we let them go we let them excavate all the way through so once that's set then we come in we start setting our perimeter footings and also our interior uh, spread footings as well. What's next would be the rebar. In this case, we tied all the exterior footings ourselves. It wasn't too, 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 too difficult. I think we were only running three number fives continuous along the, the whole entire perimeter. So we did all the rebar work ourselves. And uh, after that, you know, you call them for inspection make sure you get uh, most likely they'll ask for specialty inspection and county get those both guys out here make sure everything's good get the green light then we schedule a pour we'll start uh, pouring footings it's uh, fairly easy pouring footings there's not much finishing into it it's just more uh, making sure you're braced off good so you don't have any blowouts or anything like that so so then that would be this uh, that you would call it phase one stage one as far as uh, the whole entire building goes, would be the footings, and then uh, that would that would be it for phase one. So, you guys, stay tuned. We're gonna be talking a little bit more in depth on on the building here. Uh, we're gonna try to break it down into sections so you guys can get an idea of what it actually takes to to get one of these constructed. So, next step would be the slab. So, make sure you guys stay tuned so you can get a little bit more information on that. Thank you.